Hello, this is Choi Seung Chang and Jae Young Yoon and Professor Connery. We are from Sungshin University, Seoul, Korea, and I'm going to talk about comparative analysis of machine learning techniques for building of fire prediction models. This is our index. And first is introduction. Among the disaster, accidents, fire accidents by human error or carelessness often cause large scale casualties and a lot of pro Party damage. The environmental susceptible to fire can be seen through historical data. Natural disasters like earthquakes are hard to prevent. But man-made disasters such as fire can be predicted, and this study views that the fire can occur in a singular pattern, and similar fire can be frequently occurred. And by using data mining techniques, we are going to analyze past fire cases to build a fire prediction model. The existing fire prediction models are built by analyzing the relations with natural conditions. If we consider artificial factors by doing this, we could make the prediction more accurate. We hope that we can contribute to public safety by using this model. Excepting for Seoul metropolitan city, Gyeongnam province's fire instances and damage of human life was comparatively high. Also, Gyeongnam has not enough manpower and equipment if we consider the worst case, we thought it would be easy to apply to the other cases. By analyzing the factors affecting the fire, we suggest fire occurring patterns to manage the factors. In order to prevent or reduce the likelihood of fire using machine learning techniques such as decision tree, random forest, extremely randomized tree, XGBoost, artificial neural networks, we build fire prediction models and perform a very variety of comparative analysis to find the most appropriate model. The model in this study are implemented and built by Python language. The second is related studies. We found two studies that are related to fire prediction model. The Atlanta Fire Department used on artificial attributes rather than natural attributes to build the fire prediction model by using machine learning techniques such as Decision Tree, SVM, Artificial Neural Network, and XGBoost. They investigate the fire risk factors of the buildings and put the priority level of the risk factors. A joint study conducted by Carnegie Mellon University and the New York City Fire Department built a model using machine learning techniques. New York City conducted a fire inspection every year, but they were unable to inspect all buildings due to insufficient manpower and they try to focus on predicting buildings with high fire risk by using artificial attributes such as injury accident data and the number of buildings adjacent to the location of building and violations of the tax and health and hygiene law, tax payment history, complaint report, phone history, the material of the building rather than natural attributes. We try to find studies that machine learning is used in varying fields. Justin et al. presented a novel model to simulate complex chemical toxicology, and Pythagoras et al. evaluated and compared the performance of 21 machine learning algorithms by using them for proactive hard disk drive failure detection. <clears throat> Russo et al. compared machine learning models to predict compo compounds for endocrine disrupting capabilities such as binding to the estrogen receptor and allow for prioritization and further testing. Abu Niman et al. used learning algorithms to predict phishing emails. Han et al. compared different machine learning techniques in order to accurately predict the software times. Researchers on comparative analysis of machine learning algorithms have been carried out, mainly on industry issues such as a housing price prediction model and text mining techniques. However, no research on the fire prediction model considering both the natural environment and artificial factors has been published. This study aims to provide knowledge that can help prevent fires by discovering patterns or factors that affect the environment susceptible to fire. The third, data and algorithms. The study uses data on building fires in Gyeongnam province, South Korea for five years, January 2014 to December 2018. The most of data attributes prepared is based on artificial factors such as 
distance from tobacco retail stores, and distance from non-smoking area, etc. Many missing values are pretreated in such a way to delete the rows. One hot encoding is performed using an algorithm that cannot handle categorical attributes. Additionally, we delete data attributes that are not meaningful and that can distort the results. The attributes that affect the building fire are confirmed through interviews with firefighters and past studies and are selected according to their importance. The importance of attributes is computed as the normalized total reduction of the criterion brought by that attributes. These are factors that influence greatly in a fire accident. The first is humidity. Fires occur more frequently and significantly in dry winters with low humidity. Second is materials of architecture frame. The frame of the building includes steel concrete structure and wooden structure and brick structure. It is commonly known that wooden structure is vulnerable to fire, but the rainfall structure is the lowest in the fire resistance. Temperature. When the temperature affects vehicle fires and factory fires due to overheating are frequent. Distance to non-smoking area. The closer the distance from the non-smoking area, the less the occurrence caused by cigarette butts or cigarette fires. Distance to tobacco store can deduce that the distance from the non-smoking area also affects the same context. Distance to CC camera. If the CC camera is installed at close range, it will be able to be a preventive effect of the fire to some extent. Distance to fire water facility. By using fire water facility, it can prevent the fire in the first place. This is our learning algorithms. The algorithms are decision tree and random forest and extremely randomized tree and XGBoost and neural network. The fourth is analysis of models. Of the 59,199 data, the number of data that fire is occurred is 7,657. This indicates a more proportion of the number of data that did not fire occur is biased in a ratio of 1 to 7. And in this study, undersampling is performed to somewhat mitigate the bias of the data for comparative evaluation of the models. The total number of data is 43,741 by randomly extracting 7,657 data from the fire and this remaining non-fire data. We compare CPU times of the two, <coughs> four machine learning algorithms. Figure 3 shows the CPU time according to the size of data that each algorithm learns for prediction. This table shows the distribution of data according to the fire risk. In this graph, the distribution of data according to the main family, multifamily housing, steel concrete frame, the fire risk level as a tree. Of the 113 buildings, according to a high probability of a fire, nearly 70.8% of them is multifamily housing and 74.6% are still concrete frame of the building. Of the 8,430 cases, for the low-risk buildings, multifamily housing is more than 99% and a still concrete frame is more than 96%. We find that the risk of fire is high if it is a still concrete frame building and multifamily housing. This graph shows comparisons of prediction speed. The models of the neural network and decision tree are almost identical in the speed to predict fire and the model of random forest is the next fastest. The larger size of the data to be processed, the more times it takes to make predictions. F1 score is a measure of a text, test accuracy in a statistical analysis of binary classification the F1 score is the harmonic mean of the precision and recall, where an F1 score reaches its best value at 1, perfect precision and recall, and worst at 0. It considers both the pre precision P and the recall R of the, text <coughs> of the test to compute the score. P is the number of correct positive results divided by the number of all positive results returned by the classifier and R is the number of correct positive results divided by the number of all relevant samples. K-fold cross-validation is performed to build a predictive model in this study. It has the advantage of making a more accurate estimate of out-of-sample accuracy since every observation is used for both training and testing. 
we use cross validation and build k different models so we are able to make predictions on all of our data this graph show comparison of model precision in k fold cross validation the precision value of random forest is the highest however xgboost represent the lowest value of precision this graph shows comparison of model recall in k fold cross validation the neural network has the lowest recall value rate and the other predictive models show little change in the recall value for the increase in the k4 number this table show comparisons of the model performance the prediction model built with random forest is the most accurate but there is a little difference in the accuracy of the each model trained with the extra tree classifier xgboost and neural network for the F1 score, the model with neural network shows the best value at 0.701. This graph shows the correlation coefficient among attributes. A correlation is a number between minus 1 to n plus 1 that measures the degree of association between the two attributes. The number of ground floors of the building and the number of underground floors of the building are also shown to be 0.69. The number of underground floors of the building, the number of buildings or houses, and the building area are also co correlated with a correlation value of 0.5. The correlation between single-family housing and residential is about 0.75, since single-family housing is commonly used as residential buildings. A positive value for the correlation implies a positive association. The last is conclusion. In this study, we built fire prediction models by using machine learning algorithms and compared performances and results of the models. Key attributes affecting the fire were identified. There is a difficulty. Since prediction models are built by using data of specific regions, it is difficult to apply in general in all regions. A variety of qualitative attributes affecting a fire such as careless behavior of people etc that should be quantified in more detail in the future study we would like to use this study as follows the first is to develop applications for the fighter firefighters that utilize natural conditions such as humidity temperature wind direction wind speed and precipitation all of the natural conditions used here are based on the attributes that cause the fire. First, the real-time data containing the natural conditions received from the Meteorological Agency Open API are stored in the database in the application, and the database is linked to fire prediction models. This will reduce careless behavior as much as possible on fire-prone days. In addition, firefighters can thoroughly prepare equipment for the outing on high-risk days or replenish tribal personnel. This will be able to prevent fires and minimize the damage in the event of an outbreak. The second is this study can provide basic data on building a fire prevention system. Through building risk classification, if, if you focus on building at high fire risk, you will be able to achieve a greater effect in pre prediction. Thank you.